Josh mentions. Come on up, baby. Who's that sexy man? I can get his job. Give me a call for my view. Great job hosting, Matthew. You're doing such a good job, buddy. Thank you. I'm proud of you. Uh, I'm going to get the, uh, the open out in the room here. Uh, I got a little bit of a speech impediment. So if you don't understand me now, I've got a very confusing 10 minutes ahead of you. I'm sorry. In terms of body reaction, no one understood that. So we're off to a great fucking start. Anyone here like to smoke weed? <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Weed best part. I think I probably smoke a little bit too much. But um, I'm a big old stoner. And I forget names all the time. Right? I remember faces, but I forget names. And it makes it really difficult when people add you on social media, but they don't have a picture of themselves. They don't even have a picture of their kids. And my biggest pet peeve when I'm online, I, uh, I don't want to see your kids. I don't give a fuck about your kids. I want to know who you are, all right? And I'm talking about these accounts that, like, sir, if you're in the picture with your kids, sir, but if, like, a couple of profile pictures Earlier as you, sir, I can look back, but I'm talking about these accounts where it's nothing but your fucking kids. <laughs> Not even you. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want your kid following me. They probably shouldn't follow me based on some of the things I'm about to say here today. Uh, as Matthew said, I host an open mic every Wednesday night at Peter Eason Pub. Anyone here familiar with that place? <laughs> this is like the complete opposite. <laughs> Over there, I'm worried about being stabbed. Over here, I'm worried about eating too much cheese and crackers. <laughs> it's quite a different atmosphere. I don't need to look over my shoulder every two seconds. It's great, but hey, don't, don't let that discourage you. You should still come down on Wednesdays. No one had gotten stabbed yet in my cell, uh, so we got a good running tally. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. And uh, that's a Josh Benson's guarantee right there. It's not liable in court. Okay, so don't like, that's, you will get stabbed. So don't, don't take my word for it. Come find out yourself. Um, but yeah, I've been doing comedy now for about uh, six years. Yeah. And I don't think I've ever done it in a place as fancy as this. Like when I'm at Peter Eason Pub, there's a bar and then there are two double doors, and then there's a room for where we do comedy. And that room kind of reminds me of poor grandma's basement. <laughs> you, know, you got your, your used uh, board, used games, board games, you got sticky floor, right? You got a couch that you don't know if you should sit on. But you do anyway, right? In this place is like a rich grandma's place. Like you got the fancy uh, fireplace over there. You got the nice layout here. It's like a grandma that never had uh, any kids. So she spent all the money on herself and take down her basement. That's what this place is and I love it. Fuck. Those are rough. What's your name, sir? I mean, I can't take me up. It's a big idea. <laughs> what's, what's your name, sir? What's your name? Me? Oh, thank God. I didn't even fucking know what I'm saying. I got a good one. Dwayne. Dwayne. What do you do for work, Dwayne? Is that 
You want to think about that, are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a designer. Oh, well, what do you design? Oh my God. Drawing for some tea. All right, Dave. What did Dave uh, bring? Bring all the oil up from the bottom. Bring all the oil up from the bottom. Uh, that's a great job description. All right, all right. Well, you know, we all uh, we all gonna do something, right? We all gonna do something. Yeah, I know. All right. all right. Well, I need a translator for you, buddy. So <laughs> I'm gonna go pick on someone else. Uh, how you guys doing on the couch? That's kind, yeah. Uh, have you uh, ever been here before? Is this your first time? First time, Oh, yeah. what do you think? Gorgeous. You getting yeah. the grandma basement vibes as well? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you see what I mean, right? Yeah. Right on, right on, right on. Have you ever been to a comedy show at all in this city? Comedy show where? At all in this city. Like oh, really? yeah, yeah, I've been to a few. Where do you usually go to? Um, most bars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, you yeah. know, all fucked up company, right on. Yeah. They think going on at, at 9 o'clock <laughs> every third day in here in pub, a fucked up company. But this is not a paid promotion, so don't go. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, what else am I going to talk about here? Uh, uh, have you ever gone on stage and drew a blank? <laughs> I'm assuming no, right? Who here besides the comedians over in that corner? Also, I love doing like, I love how like the comedians always gather in like one little dark corner, uh, right by the bar, and like we're here. Don't don't forget about us. Can I get a drink, please? <laughs> Thank you. I won't bother you anymore. <laughs> you laugh, but like that's fucking true, by the way. Well, we get up here, we perform, but in person, we're like, oh. What did you say? Okay, sorry. Sorry. Well, some of us, not all of us. Matthew, are you about to give me the light? No, no, I'm just no, staring at you. You're just staring at me. <laughs> I'm just anxious. I'm Oh, thank you. Man, you're doing such a good job, but you don't be so anxious. Oh, stop. I'm very good at making a uh, Matthew Plus. I do it on a weekly basis. It's, uh, it's fun. You know, you're the gorgeous man. But I, uh, Sandy, Matthew, uh, I do not swing that way, as you know. So all my... All my advances towards you are fake. <laughs> but you, you seem you seem to enjoy him, so I keep doing it, you know. And you know, you know, maybe maybe one day we'll get there. Maybe one day I'll say, you know what? I'll always be in the cage. I'll be what? Canary in the cage. Oh, canary in the cage. Uh, how did they work in this situation? I'll warn you when the, the mine is full of gas. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll warn me when you're about to fire with a bug in your ass. Start freaking out. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm going to stop picking up Matthew. He's blushing too much. Uh, yeah, so I just said you know, I'm uh, hosting Peter E. And Peter E., you really run into very strange characters there. And... Not just the ones that want to stab you. Like, they're not a character. The guy that I will ever... Uh, oh, fuck, excuse me. I'm not classy enough to be here, guys. Uh, I, I should say that right now. I feel really out of my element. And if you ever went to Peter E, you will understand why. Uh, but, yeah, I had this guy, Peter E, that's uh, forever known to me as Canoe Guy. Uh, so I was up there doing my set, right? And I got off, and I did go, I got a lot of laughs. And I see some guy eyeing me from across the room. And I didn't think much of it, because, you know, I'm, I'm crippled. I'm used to people staring at me. So I just ignored it. Uh, and then I looked back earlier, later on, and he got closer. 
And I made eye contact to stop. I go, fuck. Never make eye contact for someone when you're into Peter Lee, boys. <laughs> so he came over to me, and I'm expecting him to say, because I'm, I'm a self absorbed comedian, I'm expecting him to say something like, well, hey, you did a good job. You made me laugh. Great work. But no, 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 what he said at all. He came up to me and he says, hey, do you ride canoes? <laughs> and I looked at him and I said, no. And he said, you know, you know, upper body strength. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I figured maybe you ride canoes. I'm like, no, man, I'm just crippled. <laughs> I'm like, all right, buddy, well, I got a cabin four and a half hours away. We should go canoeing there. And obviously, I look at him very weirdly. And I uh, take it back by the east end, or, or we can go to Power Pot. And we can go canoeing there. I thought to myself, great. Do I want to die four hours away? Or do I want to die at Power Pot? <laughs> so many options. But keep in mind where I am, I'm at Peter E. So I don't want to say no, because I might get stabbed. But I don't want to say yes, because I might die in a fucking canoe. <laughs> so I said, you know what, buddy, I'll think about it. I'll get back to you. He said, all right, man, I'm here every week. If you ever want to go canoeing, you just let me know. Motherfucker never showed up again. He was never there. And I wonder, I have to wonder myself, did canoe guy ever find his canoe friend? And if so, is that canoe friend six feet under right now? But I feel like that would be me if I said yes. Thank you very much. You've all been great. Oh, I hate to see you go, but I'd love to watch you wheel away. We're laughing out loud. We drinking out now. I don't give a fuck, man. Watching those comedians.